fanatic who's held nearly every job in the restaurant biz. Ha! And now I'm on a mouth-watering journey to find America's greatest pig-out spots. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And take on the country's most legendary eating challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the carnivore challenge. I'm no competitive eater. This is history in the making. Just a regular guy with a serious appetite. The hottest wings in the planet. <laughs> is my ultimate hunger quest. This is Man vs. Food. My tasty tour has brought me to the land of lighthouses and lobsters, Portland, Maine. I'm sailing around this port town's craggy coast for some super fresh seafood and a decadently delicious burger. Coming up, I chow down on a super burger, cramming cow, pig, and duck into one bun. What the channel? I'm in Portland, Maine, New England's biggest seaport, to take on the Manimal Challenge. But first, I could use a little nosh. I'm on Congress Street in Portland, Maine, and I'm heading to Nosh Kitchen Bar. Opened in 2010, Nosh transforms the traditional deli menu into a pork paradise where the divine swine appears in everything from a pig belly Reuben oh, looks so good. to tempura fried bacon. Oh, oh that's so good. <laughs> One more bite? Yeah, totally. <laughs> And today, my mission is the Apocalypse Now Burger. A tasty tower of meats and cheese, stacked, skewered, and bursting with savory flavor. What is this right here with the antenna? Well, does your burger get cable? I see a couple patties, I see cheese, we got pork belly in there, we got bacon. I think I see a hoof in there, actually. I peeked under the hood a little bit, I saw a little foie gras, and... Oh, meat symphony. And the maestro behind Nasha's delicious compositions, Chef Jason Loring. What do you have for me here? Some bacon dusted fries. Bacon dusted fries. May I see bacon dust? This is what the food fairy sprinkles when you want to have good dreams. Mm. <laughs> My God, that's delicious. It tastes like a mini baked potato in every bite. But you can't have fries without the Apocalypse Now Burger. The burger. The burger. Four cheeseburgers topped with pork belly, bacon, and foie gras. What the foie? Each apocalyptic patty draws its strength from four cuts of meat. Beef brisket, beef short rib, pork belly, and bacon ends. Bacon ends? What are bacon ends? It's shall uh, we do our own house cured bacon. Whatever's left that doesn't give you a nice slice of bacon, throw those in there. Give a little extra flavor. What is the next meat that we are going to add to the apocalypse now? Pork belly. Oh. oh my goodness gracious. Two big hunks of succulent tender pork belly cooked in olive oil go on the grill. Followed by two super thick slices of house cured bacon. That bacon looks ridiculous. Then Jason unveils the final apocalyptic ingredient. Foie gras. Foie gras, which means fatty duck liver. Mm -hmm. Fatty liver. Foie gras is a French delicacy beloved by refined palates for its smooth, musky flavor. It is one of the most decadent, amazing tastes. It's rich, it's creamy. It almost works like a sauce on the burger. Oh my God. This is a work of art. This is the Mona Lisa right here. Seared foie gras. We add two slices of American cheese to each burger, and then it's time to assemble. Uh, Jason lays down the pork belly base, 
stacks the cheeseburgers and bacon. We finished with our foie gras. Oh my gosh. Tops it with macerated cherry spread and homemade mayo and voila. Oh my gosh. And now the first bite of the apocalypse. Hallelujah. It's like a meaty layer cake. I think I may have fallen in love. Oh, you gotta warn a man before you do this to him. It is amazing. The foie gras is velvety, creamy. The bacon is crispy, smoky. The cherry spread holds it all together. It's almost reminiscent of like where pork chop burger and cheeseburger meet. It's, it's, it's remarkable.